in this video we will be talking about the predictive analysis so what kind of predictions we want to make so we want to find out uh, you know who is about to resign right so basically what is the aim aim is to control attrition to retain meaningful and useful employees and take the corrective actions if somewhere somewhere for the organization or a team or a particular manager is behaving wrongly right so this is the aim but always focus on to retain the good employee not all the people who are resigning right so how to do that kind of analysis this is very important so whatever concepts we have used so far we would we would be using all that right so again as we need to connect slicers to the charts we have to create their pivot tables we have created all that but for a clear understanding of what i am doing i am just hiding the pivot tables as we do not need them so this is all you need to create to do this kind of analysis what we have created we have created a combo chart combo as in we have used primary and secondary chart both so what all we have done we have taken employee number and their age right so these bars are representing the age of this particular employee employee 1050 it means his age is 24 on the secondary axis in the line values we have taken their percentage salary hike 17% right so this is 15% so we have created a combo chart another chart we have created is for the department and the average percentage salary hike in that particular department right why we are not seeing all other departments here because we have used this filter from the slicers now you can see all the departments right and we have created this four slicers and one timeline so basically we would be studying about the people who have left the organization so this is the reason in the attrition slicer we have selected the option yes because these people are no more with the organization so what is the aim how we want to proceed for this analysis so basically we would be understanding their trend their pattern before they resigned and in case that trend and that pattern is coming again in the organizational data for the current employee there only we can take the corrective steps and retain the asset uh, of the company by asset i mean the good employees of the company so this is the entire workflow i would be discussing another slicer we have created for the department or uh, in the timeline i have taken the years because i would be studying this data i would be analyzing this data department wise and year wise right when we have two factors one is performance rating another is job satisfaction so performance rating is a view by the manager about the employee and job satisfaction is a view of the employee about the entire job be it manager or everything i mean job satisfaction with respect to anything right so now how to study so for example select the year 2019 and again yes the la one last thing i have connected all the slices and timeline with both the graphs okay now i have selected year 2019 this will remain yes throughout the analysis do not change it and take the department hr so basically we would be studying hr department first in hr department there are four employees who left the organization in 2019 right okay so their performance rating was either 3 or 4 both are good so we would be selecting both with respect to their job satisfaction we would only be studying about the people who had the job satisfaction of 3 or 4 right so with control key i have made two selections now i have just two employees left in hr in 2019 so basically employee 357 employee 454 left the organizations so what was the percentage salary hike they got so this is my question right so he got 11% right and he got 12% right so this is not 12 yes 12% right and what was the average percentage uh, salary hike which was given in hr department 11.5 so basically uh, the person who got 
this person he got above average hike then why he resigned he got good rating from the manager he himself was satisfied with the job still he resigned and for the employee 454 we can assume that he got below average or probably, probably he resigned so what will we do we will talk to this employee in one to one so this is one step another one go to r and d for the same year with yes same performance rating we would be following 3434 34. what was the average positive salary high 15.26 n number of employees left right so how to study what will we do we'll go to pivot table and we will sort this so this line has been sorted now 15.26 percent was the average hike just find out where we have 15.26 and below hike from him so from employee 32 to left side all the people got percentage side hike of more than average still they left the company what was their age what was the age of this employee his age was around 38 40 employee 32 we can check this value from the pivot table more clearly right so let's move to that part once i have unhided the pivot table so employee 32 basically this one his age is 24 right okay remove the filter so out of these employees who got above average hike in this department those people from this section we would be selecting those employees who comes under efficient age group and what was the efficient age group we got 28 to 36 so that particular age group is very, very efficient. We still need them, but they resigned. Despite getting good hike, above average hike, despite getting good rating from the manage, management and despite having the job satisfaction. So we will find out this chunk and we will speak to them as well that why they resigned. So similarly, we would be doing the same analysis for sales as well. So keeping age factor in consideration is very, very important. Because retaining something who is like 40, 42, who are not efficient, does not make any sense at all because they are not going to perform in future, right? So similarly, we will find out the people from the sales for 2019, then for 20. And after talking to them, whatever we can understand after that discussion, that the, why they resigned, we would be working on that factor as HR. We would be guiding and passing on that information, passing on that feedback to the managers and we would be working on those problems. So that efficient age group employees, despite getting good rating, despite being satisfied in the job, are not resigning. So this is how we can control attrition. So this is the kind of analysis we do, right? So whenever you are working on this business problem, create all the slicers, timelines, and graph like this, and then proceed.